So you have to keep your own self full. That's your job. Fear has a habit of holding us back in life. It can prevent us from taking the chances that may elevate us to a new place on our paths to personal success. How can we set aside those fears and become our true selves? The real secret to conquering fear may just be to keep yourself full. Figure out where your strengths lie. Discovering the real reason why you are here means aligning your personality with your own natural gifts. Feeling comfortable with working on yourself means being okay with filling your mind with self-positivity and respect. Legacy is every life that you've touched. If you have nothing left to give of yourself, you won't have anything to offer to others. Embrace your fears and tell yourself it's okay to be full of yourself. Step back and put your name at the top of the list. Spend time nurturing and honoring you to remind yourself that you are good enough. That's, that's the number one thing you have to do, is to work on yourself. Simply being here at all is, in itself, a miracle. Honor that. Changing our outlook can make a difference on conquering our fears. Change how you view power. Real power is the power that can never be taken from you. Fame is fleeting and money can be spent, but the power of your personality is what truly serves your soul. Remember that no matter what plans you start out with, always be ready to seize opportunity when it comes along. Once you can discover and care for yourself and apply that towards what you do in this world, you can begin to overcome your fears. That I can offer my gatherings of information and wisdom and call myself a spiritual teacher. I remember the very first time I had a life coach, they weren't called that at the time, but an expert on, who shared with our audience, the women, she did a list and say, where are you on the list? And literally in that audience, women booed her when she said, put yourself top of the list. This was in 1992. In 1992, the idea of being top of the, your own list was people like, how dare she? And she doesn't have children. I said, she didn't say abandon your children and go running in the streets. She just said, put yourself at the top of the list. Nurture yourself. Honor yourself. Stop the crazy mind chatter in your head that tells you all the time that you're not good enough. Because that's the number one I found to issue with everybody. Uh, the reason people say, you know, how how is that? How is that? It's because you, you, you want to know how do you measure up? Well, to know that you're just being here. You're just being here. However that sperm, bam, hit that egg. However that occurred for you, that your being here is such a miraculous thing and that your real job is to honor that. So you have to keep your own self full. That's your job. You know, one of my daughters is here today from uh, Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy. Stand up today so everybody can see you. I say to the, my girls all of the time that your real work is to figure out where your power base is and to work on the alignment of your personality, your gifts that you have to give with the real reason why you're here. That's, that's the number one thing you have to do is to work on yourself and to fill yourself up and keep your cup full, keep yourself full. Now I used to be afraid of that. I used to be afraid and now I embrace it. I, I consider it a compliment that I am full of myself. I thought that I was going to be a teacher. I was in my sophomore class at Tennessee State University. I'd already been working in radio since I was 16. I remember I was in Mr. Cox's drawing class for theater and I was a terrible drawer. He said I couldn't draw a straight line with a ruler. And I got a call in that class from a guy at uh, the local station, CBS, and he'd been calling me several times when I was working in radio. So I started working in radio at 16. I won the Miss Fire Prevention Contest, another long story. So when I went back to the station to pick up my prize, some guy said, would you like to hear your voice on tape? I said, sure. And I started reading this copy on tape. They called everybody in the building, said, hear this kid read. I was 16, they hired me in radio. So I was in radio at 16. I changed how I viewed power about uh, 1989. There was a book I read by uh, a man named Gary Zukov called Seat of the Soul. And in Seat of the Soul, he defined what is true power, what is authentic power. And his definition of authentic power 
power, meaning the kind of power that can never be taken from you. Not your looks, not your fame, not your money, not your square footage, but authentic power is when the personality, your personality, comes to serve the energy of your soul. When you are able to align who you are, who you've become in the world, with really what you've come to do in the world, when your personality serves the soul. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.